Scott. Huge comp comp competitive comp. Are you starting to feel the pressure now? Essentially, every point is crucial to be top two. Yeah, every point is uh, crucial. Every year is different. That's what we've learned over um, the last six or seven. Uh, look, hell of a comp. It's good. Good. There's uh, games going to the wire. You're not sure who's going to win each week. Um, this is a challenge that we want and need. Yeah. What are the improvements you're looking for after last week's match against the Chiefs? Uh, finishing tries. <laughs> um, uh, oh, look, we're moments away. A bit of game understanding. Just, yeah, it was it was a hell of a match. Like we're really proud of our efforts. Um, we weren't beat on efforts. We, you know, we just beat on a couple of moments, and we just trained that and acknowledged it. How we can get better. With Will Jordan being named in the team, what hoops has he had to go through to get cleared to play? Uh, yeah, it's been. Been a big six months for Will, you know, and look, he's just got better and better, and he's just he chose this game after having a couple of really good training weeks, and uh, he's prepared well, and you know, it's good to timing with a home game, afternoon, all those things, just added up, and the, and the timing's right, and you know, we're really pleased for him. You know, it's been um, it's been tough, and he's ready. Did you sense any frustration at all during those six months with him, especially the oh. last couple? Oh, I think he's just natural, you know, we probably a few weeks ago we'd, we sort of, he thought, yep, he's in, he's going to play and, you know, he came back after training, actually he'd played well and just didn't feel right, so we, we pulled it and yeah, it's natural frustration, you know, he wants to play, he's a rugby player and he's, he's trained just as much as everyone else uh, and he just didn't feel quite right and with, he think, with these things, you, there's, no, there's no rules, you know, there's no, you know, you're going to wake up this day or return to play six weeks, it's a hamstring, it's a... It's a head and it's a, it's a, it goes on feeling and uh, he's feeling good, good enough at the moment and yeah. Obviously a lot of X Factor Will, it changes straight away, it changes a bit of the dynamic of the back line, doesn't it, when you can inject him in? Yeah, oh, it's Will Jordan, you know, he can kick, he can run, um, he can read a game, he, you know, he can anticipate things, so that's exciting. You know, especially with Sevu out, uh, you know, like that, just experience in the back three and just gives a little bit of... Uh, you know, the ability to line breaks always full, you know, we, what he can bring. No Willie, no Willie Hines, obviously, the, was it the calf, is it? Um, Noah, yeah. Noah Hotham, uh, real opportunity for him the next few weeks, I guess, with Willie yeah. yeah, look, no, no one can play. The reason we gave him that start in the Reds is this opportunity, you know, to play games like this if something did happen to, in our halfbacks. Uh, you know, halfbacks in front rows are hard to come by. It, you know, it's a specialist position, you've got a lot, a lot of clubs with really good depth, um, and and for him being at 19 years old, playing so well uh, against you know the, the Reds, for him to come straight back in here, uh, um, it gives us confidence in him. Just with Will, is there like a, a minutes restriction or anything like that, or is he straight back into however you? Ah, he's the good. Game? No, he's, he's ready to play um, the full full 80 if needed. He might come a little, off a little bit earlier if uh, if needed as well. And as you mentioned yeah. with the, the head, does it still almost remain a, a week to week proposition? I'll oh, we'll get through this week and we'll answer that question after he's played. <laughs> yeah. Sam Whitelock, is that just a, a week off this week? Uh, you took a little uh, a little knock to his Achilles. He, he played the whole game with it. So, look, he wasn't quite ready this week, and so we, we've given him a chance to, to freshen up. Sam yeah. Gallagher back. Was he available in previous weeks, or was this his first week available? Uh, yeah, look, he played club rugby. Just get some minutes after his bout after being out um, with injury, so it was perfect timing to get him back. There's a lot of chat by sides of the Tasman this week, sort of about Super Rugby again and the state of it. I mean, you, you've played and coached in a lot of different yeah. formats. Where, where, what's your view, sort of, on where it's at, right? The, the competition, the format, and as a whole. Oh. Uh, to be careful because the headline, eh? <laughs> it's going to be a headline no matter whatever I say. Uh, oh, it's the second year in. Things are going to take time to embed. We've got a couple of new teams to, that are starting up, but it's, it's always tough. Uh, it's really clear that, you know, the New Zealand teams have, you, you've got some really good depth for their squads and Australian teams are building. So I always was an advocate at the start. I thought, you know, top eight, maybe it's a bit too many, but with the, the startup teams, and we want to keep this competition alive right to the end and give everyone an opportunity to, 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 to make finals footy. That might change in, 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 in the future. You know, I might go top six, top four, just to give it 
maybe change a little bit of, you know, uh, the competition to make it harder to get in, be established. But we are where we are. That's probably sitting on the fence, but that's my answer. <laughs> I'm guessing you agree with Clayton and Billings today, you know, not, not yeah. keen on that draft concept which has been floated. No, not really, no. You, you, you've got to get your own house in order as a team, and I think a lot of teams work really hard to do it so we can get some continuity of consistency. You know, what we're proud of, we've won championships, but also consistency over many, many years of making finals and bringing the next person through, and we do it within our own four walls, and I think that's what teams should aspire to. Um, you know, there's always going to be a natural flow change of personnel. With guys, if there's log jams, people have to move somebody else. But your own talent system, targeting system, scouting systems have got to be in order for continued success. So I think you've got to keep it and the integrity of it it is. We're not, we've got massive universities or huge amount of numbers to do it, like the States with our AFL. I, I think the way it's structured now is is how it, how it should be, yeah. How, how do you get that, that parity to those? Is it just about building resources within? Like, if, yeah. if Australia are insistent on having five teams... That's you why. Know. Right. You look at your own. How can they strengthen their own backyard and, and, and make sure that, you know, they've had great models in the past that have worked. They've got to find that one that, that suits them and their demographics and their rugby numbers. So, yeah. Just a couple of things on Willie Hines. How long do you anticipate him being out for? Right? I'll be a few weeks. Yeah, Willie. It's a, hand, it's a calf. It's a real shame because he's been training so well and it would be nice for him to run on in that last 30. So, you know, yeah, he's done a good job. In those, in last minute, so yeah, he was. was yeah. And uh, what about Maka Springer? You picked him as a star a couple of years ago. How impressed have you been with how he's going in the Super Comp? Oh, Maka is a 19 year old. You know, a few of the guys are off to the World Cup for the 20s and he's in that squad. So he's got another sort of three or four weeks with us before he heads away. He's been exceptional on the right wing this week. Um, yeah, I would love to see him play fullback. Uh, he's big, he's strong, he's quick, you know, he pushes Paul Jordan for the speed test um, times and um, like he's got a hell of a future. So really proud he's played a lot of minutes this year and, and performed. Just on that 14 jumper, I think you've used three, yeah. maybe even four different guys since sevi has been out. Is that a bit of a, an ongoing uh, oh. trying in that piece for the puzzle? Oh, we found the old big old battler there in... Dallas McLeod, you know, like how good was he? Like it was amazing work. We're just so pleased, you know. He he's taken every opportunity he's had this year. Like um, he's really found out what his strengths are and just plays them every week. Uh, he just had a little shoulder injury, so he couldn't play, you know. And he came off when he did, uh, so that gives him, you know, we chuck Mac over to the right wing. But we're really pleased with Dallas, yeah. Just one other thing, back in the park. Tell us about that. <laughs> What am I saying about Bark in the Park? I'm being fully briefed. I know you can bring a dog and I'm not sure how it all works. As long as they don't run on the field, I'm happy. Are you bringing your dog? You yeah, haven't got one. Thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>